Hello and welcome to Wheeler Scientific. In today's video, we are installing a package of bees. There's about 10,000 bees here of the Russian variety. The first thing that we need to do is open up the beehive. The hive style that I use in my area is called a Langstroth hive. These are just the primary box types that you'll see that are just the stereotypical ones. Opening up the cover, we then take off the first brood box. A brood box is one of these deep boxes, and then we have super boxes which are about half the size and that's for honey collection. What we first need to do is set up the frames so that we can put the queen into it. I already went ahead and cleared an area and put a rubber band on it. The purpose of the rubber band is to hold the queen cell, which we need to get out from the box. So let's open up the package. We use a little crowbar and we open up the loo on top. There's a couple staples in here which we can just pry open. See this little black strap here? It has the queen attached to it. So first we need to remove this piece of wood so that we can get that off. There's a small staple which I had trouble prying out so I just ended up using my knife and cutting the black strap. The can we see in front of us contains a sugary mixture which the bees feed off of when they are traveling. I tap the box down to push the bees off of the sugar can. I then used pry bar and push the can out. Pulling the strap out, we see this little box attached to it. This is where the queen is currently at. Shaking off the bees, we can take a look at the queen inside. She has a little green dot on her. Now with the queen out, we can attach her to the frame. We do this because the bees in the box aren't actually the bees made by this queen. This queen could be accepted by these bees or not, and if she's not, then she'll be ripped apart. But by slowly exposing them over the course of a couple days, they get acclimated and eventually accept her as the queen. There's a small candy side that they'll eat through, but first we need to remove the cork that stops them from accessing it. Once the cork is removed, we can then attach the queen to the frame. The funny thing about bees is they'll actually chew through this rubber band and get it out of the hive while they're expanding it. We then reinstall the frame. making sure there's enough space that the bees can get by her to feed her. Next we throw the top box back on. And now it's time for the fun part. We take the bees and we tap them down a bit and remove the sugar can. I like to leave this in the hive and they'll eat off of it for the next couple days. Next we tap the bees down again and we just pour them into the hive. That's why I like to use this top box because it kind of funnels them into the hive. Once most of them are done and into the hive, I then place the box in front. The ones that didn't leave the box will just fly out and collect inside the hive with the rest of them. I then place the top board back on and then place the roof back on. Eventually all the bees will fly into the hive and get situated. Placing a couple bricks on to keep the roof intact and we can let them do their own things.
After three days, they're mostly moved into the hive, and there's some activity in front of the hive as they go out and forage for pollen and nectar. I take away the small box in front that the bees have all left. Now it's time to open up the hive and check on the bees. You can see they've all clung to the frames and are mostly around the center where the queen is. I'm opening up the hive to make sure the queen has released and to take out that queen box and release her if she has not been released. There's a bit of sugar left in the can so I just set that off to the side for them to fly out and feed off of. And then pop the top box off. and pull out a couple frames to check on them. Last year I was up to about seven hives with including three packages that we bought and then a bunch of swarms came into our yard and we collected those. But they all ended up dying due to a cold snap that came through the winter. These frames are from those hives so there's plenty of food for them to eat off of. We can open up one of the hive frames and we see that the queen cell has been released. It's a bit glued in there, they've started building frame around it, but I can just pry that off. You can also see how they took their band off already, and it's probably already out of the hive. They like to clean up after themselves, and clean up any foreign material that gets in the hive. And you can see all the candy has been eaten. The frame is then reinstalled and I make sure to give proper spacing in the frames. They like to move up the sides, but we need to make sure that they are close together, because if they're not close together, they'll start building high frame material from one frame side to the other side, and that beeswax will keep the frames in there, and they won't build properly off of these frames. Once we know they're all situated and it's all good to go, I put the top back on and seal them up. And here's some bees cleaning off that sugary can. Our hive is all set up and we're ready to go for the summer. If there's interest in the beekeeping series, I will continue this. If not, this is just a one-off video to show some beehives. 